I'm Yuri. So, um, a while back, I got Albion 5 by Spitfire Audio, and uh, I wrote a piece, which I was going to do to showcase it in, like, a, a video as such, and I, I never got around to it. But now I am. So, I will play that piece, but before I start, there's just a few things that I want to talk about. Firstly, um... This isn't like Albion 1 or even Albion 2, which is the only other two Albions that I have, where this one is kind of, you put your hands down on the keys and just sort of let it do its thing, and then you're done. I tried my best to do ways where I could use it in more of a playable fashion, so it was more me doing something than just the sample library, but... Besides what I did, which really pushed it to its limits, I don't. it doesn't do much besides putting your hands down. Which can be a good thing. Um, it can also be a bad thing, of course, but as long as you've got ones where you can do stuff, I guess it's probably a good thing to have this kind of a tool for when you're in, I don't know, a, a small deadline and you kind of just need something which you can just... and go... So, um, in terms of the good stuff, well, actually, that's kind of the only bad thing, I guess. The good thing is, um, it sounds really awesome. It sounds super unique. It's like Tundra, which is like, I don't know, but according to League of Legends skins, it's icy. So, they did a good job of representing an icy kind of timbre. Uh, especially in the strings, there's this one point later, which I'll talk about, which, um... It's it's just a really, really cool sound that um it's this really fine point on the MIDI CC that are sort of uh like the velocity, sorry. And um yeah, it's sick. The the rest of the stuff is cool too, but um for the most part I think the strings are probably the best part of this library. Another good part of this library is the fact that the woodwinds is not a multi instrument thing, which a lot of companies do and Albion One did it. It was just really frustrating because you couldn't really use it properly. It kind of sucked. But now, the woodwind section is just flutes. So, that's cool. It's all like extended techniques and stuff. There is some just standard techniques that you can see here. But it's got all these other really cool articulations that um, you don't get in a normal library. So it's really depth to your flute stuff if you like them. And then... Um, the brass, again, the brass was very much sort of just a, this kind of thing, which works. Like I said, um, it's got its place, and uh, there's no percussion. There was one, literally one drum in percussion, and it's kind of how you're going. So I did use it, but only for the sake of using it. I don't think I'll ever use it again. Um, yeah, so let's just, I'll play it for you, and then there's probably not much more to talk about, so yeah.
Right. So, um... So that's the piece. And, uh... At the start there, we'll kind of mix in a bunch of other libraries. We use a bit of the flutes here, mixed with, again, a bunch of other, um... Woodwinds. Um, symphonic motion strings. So... This was probably the coolest part, I think, out of it, which is these crescendos. But, as you can see, I had to do a lot of, um... Well, a lot, relative, I guess. Um, manipulation to make sure it actually crescendoed at the right point. I can hear how it's actually sort of crescendoing up there, but I had to pull it off. Which I guess you don't really notice when it's in... Show you solo. Get a bit of that. These are like the bursts. So this is again, you kind of just have to hold chords and let it do its thing. But it's nicer than just sitting there. And finally, the best part is the gypsies. Gypsy strings, that is. Which sounds so nice. Especially that point just there. I think it's here. Oh no, it's there. When it sort of gets really scratchy on the strings. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Um, but the gyps the only reason I actually used... I mean, I'm glad I did. But the only reason I used the Gypsy Longs here is because nothing else um, actually is articulate. Like, it's cool that they've got these other things like double-stopped fifths already in there. And they're double-stopped, not two people playing or Divisi or whatever. And like the Frozen Longs or Ice and Air or kind of like extreme that and and stuff like this they've got all these cool articulations that definitely are cool but they can't actually produce uh, a clear note and directly so you couldn't do a melody you could hardly do this let alone something like these little which I mean it hardly pulls off but it, it fits the mood anyway so that's that I hope you enjoyed looking at it um, the other string libraries I used were Symphonic Motions, Symphonic Strings, and Olaf Arnold Chamber. Um, I guess they're the ones doing the normal sounding stuff, and then everything else is this. Yeah, alright. Hope you enjoyed. Laters.